Hello and welcome to Civilization 6. Well, this is totally different from Minecraft, but I love this game. It's really great. I played a bunch of Civilization 5 and Civilization 6 is everything Civ 5 is, but better. At least uh, that's what I think What uh, until, until now. I didn't play a whole lot. I played a couple of hours, so I know the basics of the game, but I'm not an expert by any means. But... Uh, Hopefully we can become an expert by playing it by playing it a lot because I love it. Um, let's uh, let's jump right in. Let's uh, do single player. Let's create a new game. Uh, Prince difficulty isn't that hard. I my first game I I played at Prince and I didn't have any trouble even at war and it was. Everyone declared war on, on me at the same time, but it was still quite easy to manage. So I'm gonna play at King difficulty for now. It's not that hard, I know. I, let's pick a random leader because I don't, I don't know the leaders that well. So from the get first them stirrings all. of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Mother Earth. Well, Sean Bean had a nice introduction uh, for us there. Uh, we play as uh, the Empire of Congo with Mvemba and Nzinga. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I don't think so, but and we right at turn turn one we can see we. I have quite a nice start. We get some salt nearby, some cattle, and uh, some truffles, which is a luxury resource. So salt is a luxury as well. So I think this is a really good place to start. We start at a river, which is important in Civ 6 because you need access to fresh water for your city to provide proper housing. You need housing for your city to grow. If you don't have any housing in your city, your city simply will grow. So we have uh, some water, and uh, yeah, we get some fresh water, so that's okay. Um, let's move with a warrior, and uh, yeah, I, th I think this is a, this is a good spot. I don't think hills matter anymore for the amount of production you get from the first turn. So we'll just find the city over here. Um, yeah, that's the first city. So we have to pick a research and let's start with pottery. Let, uh, I think for animal husbandry, what what can we do? We, we, the truffles require animal husbandry. Cattle requires animal husbandry. So let's let's do uh, a pastures plus one production. So it's really good for us. Let's start with the animal husbandry. So as soon as we get a worker, we can improve the cattle and those truffles. As you can see in the research tree, I will, I will quickly, sh quickly show you. Um, you have the, the three first technologies to take nine, which take nine turns, and then there's sailing and astrology, which each take 18 turns with the current amount of science we are generating per turn. But if you look closely, you can see that it says to boost found the city on the coast. That means that after the first three basic. Um, uh, technologies, every technology can be boosted by fulfilling a certain requirement and it's all, all stated below the below the technology so that's really nice and it's really something to look for to to find ways to boost your technology so for example to boost astrology we need to find a natural wonder so to find a natural wonder we need to explore the world so it's really important for us that we start exploring the world and uh, well so, some other things like writing meet another civilization which is well probably gonna happen any t uh, probably gonna happen soon anyway so and to boost archery for example you have to kill a unit with a slinger which makes sense and in C5 you only have technologies but the difference here is you have technologies and so-called civics. Civics are basically mm, let, let's say they are technologies as well but they don't require science but culture so they got rid of the policy trees in uh, 
from Civ 5 and they replace it with a sort of a tech tree with uh, all different uh, policies. No, not policies, civics. And these civics provide policies which you can in turn uh, <coughs> use in your government to change your government. As you can see, we have the chief, chief them government which gives us the opportunity to use one military policy and one I think it's yes economic policy but we don't have any policies researched yet so we can cannot change a government for now alright so that was some basic information it's almost everything I know about the game so as you, as you can tell I'm really really bad at it but uh, I want I want to play it anyway and there's a street squeaky chair again um, we have to choose a production in our first city and I think the scout is probably the best option as always I mean it gives you so much opportunities in, in scouting the land the area around you to find new places to settle all right let's quickly go to turn two well that was a long turn one it took almost it took five minutes to finish that turn all right so now we can quickly go through the turns mm, let's go over there and in uh, it's different from Civ 5 because Civ 5 the base game didn't have any religion and the base game from Civ 6 comes straight away with religion which is really cool really great it has a great deal of variety and it's really important to get a religion early on I think there is a some uh, tri a tribal village which is basically the equivalent of the ruins from Civ 5. I didn't know that at first. Units like Scout. Yes, I know, Advisor. Let's let's turn off the envi Advisor. Interface. Key bindings. Application. No. Audio. Blah, blah, blah. Language. Graphics. Where are my Advisors? Game. No, of course, the game. Let's disable the Advisor for now. Um. But at first, I, I, I thought of a sort of barbarian camps of some sort, so I didn't do anything with them. But they're basically ruins, so you can uh, you can move into them. Let's attack that scout. It's, uh, ooh, it did more damage to us than we did to him. That's unfortunate. We cannot build a settler. We need two pop for that. Do we want to build another scout? Let's build a slinger. The slinger is really handy for fighting off the barbarians. Which can become pain in the butt when uh, when there are too many of them. As you can see, we found some inspiration in the village, which boosts one of our civics. As you can see the what what was boost again? The state workforce is boosted now, so it only uses half of the turns. It takes half of the turns than it used to do. So where did this barbarian scout come from? We want to uh, destroy that camp as quickly as possible. Well, we ran straight into the camp with our scout, which is rather unfortunate. So we lost our scout straight away. That's not great. So let's uh, once we finished off this if there are no slinger, dogs in heaven. we will. Uh, I thought I had my slinger activated. We will. Uh, maybe we want to research. Let's research um, archery. I think between now and nine turns, we can kill a barbarian with a slinger. Once we do, it will get boosted by nine turns, so we can finish it quickly. Let's grab another scout. It's not the greatest of starts building units. I was hoping I could start on a worker right now. Pericles of Athens. Alright, so we met another civilization. That's great. He is uh, fighting the barbs as well. It's great for us. Although he is rather down on hit points. Hopefully, they don't attack us both. Did. Let's promote this unit. Should 
give us some health back. So hopefully we have enough health to survive the next attack. Ooh, the Great Kin Shu Huan. Or in other words, the guy from China is also nearby. Did we lose our slinger? Yes, we did. But this is not a great start for us. We uh, lost some units. And uh, I don't really want to build another slinger or warrior. I think I'm, I'm about to go for a builder. Hey. Mr. Viking? Great. The delegation is most welcome. Of course, you're welcome. Hmm. So, you can kill him. And uh, you can attack him. It is not wisdom. As you can see, we, we finished our first civic uh, research, so we now can uh, choose uh, some policies for our government. Uh, we can choose from two military policies and from two economic policies. And discipline is basically the go-to policy from the start. I mean, plus five unit combat strength when fighting barbarians is really important. There's a lot of barbarians out there, so really want that uh, do we want to start on faith or on the production plus one production in all cities the plus one production can be really helpful but once we have the worker we get a lot of production anyway so i'm gonna go with god king get started on our faith can you destroy that sling and we can't we cannot you can wreck the camp Right, so it boosted uh, military tradition. We need to choose a new civic. Do we want craftsmanship? Yes, we want craftsmanship because we can boost it with um, by improving three tiles, and we are building a worker which will improve three tiles for us, so it will boost the uh, the civic craftsmanship. Um, let's see, do we want to attack this warrior or this slinger? I think we want to. We don't want to attack anyone. We want to stay here with the fire until we are in good. Let's go out of there. We don't want to lose any more units. We have sent a delegation bearing gifts. Don't be alarmed, there's no large wooden holes involved. I love the pun. I love the, the reference to, uh, to Troy. I think it's a, it's a nice addition. It's really great. We cannot kill that slinger. We cannot kill that. So we have to stay in the city. You can just scout. I don't think they will attack the city. And there's nothing to pillage for them. So hopefully uh, Pericles, the, uh, the Greek uh, guy, will kill them for us. So we don't have to. The slinger is getting a beating. Ooh, another barbarian camp. We better run for it. Bye bye. Is it wise to attack him? Yes, let's attack him. So he's he dead now. Great. One more turn until we get a worker. There we have a worker. Um can move here. Okay. Uh, we want to scout to the south of our little uh, city. What do we want to improve first? The truffles or the pasture? It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, we could look at yield icons. Which yields a bit more gold. One food less. What's worked? And the citizens right now. Wow, why does this have so much protection? Is it because it's on a hill? Yes, I think it's because of it's on a hill. Hmm, do we want production? Let's 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 do it like this. Yes. And what do we want next? Do we want a settler? I think an early settler could be really nice. I I don't I don't know that much strategies 
just yet, but I think I think an early settler might might be nice. If you can settle on the coast, I think there's some quite nice ways. I think this is a nice place to settle. We get the citrus, uh, we get the copper close by, we could even go next to the mountain. So again, we can build a campus somewhere. Um, yes, next turn, please. You are wise to leave a neighboring city-state to us. Hmm, great, I didn't find any city-states at all for now. Okay, move over here. I think I want to explore to the east as well. So you improved the pasture. Plus one gold. I didn't know that it was a camp. I thought it, it made would make a, a pasture so I should have improved this one and well let's mining how long does it take to get mining let's go with mining and let's improve the the cattle and then the salt so we can uh, we can focus on production rather than uh, than the gold and you can go to the pasture mm, do we want to attack this cow? no we do not can we buy units? we have a lot of gold, I did not notice we should buy we should buy a unit sling is 140 gold we could just Buy a settler. Just let's buy a settler and build a settler as well. Oh wait! Once you purchase one, it starts to be more expensive. What's happening there? We need all the production we can get. So, oh wait! When you build a settler. You physically uh, use up one citizen from your city to uh, to make it a set. All right. So you can improve that bit. And do we want to get to the coast? Yes, we do. So we need this warrior to come back to the city, escort the settler to the to the coast. I've sent you traders with gifts of runestone. They are powerful, the stones, not the traders. The delegation is most welcome. Thank you for your gifts. Alright, so create an escort formation and heat the heal up a bit. I can go into the city now. No, yeah. Back. I don't know if buying that settler was such a great idea. I probably should have. See now I cannot I cannot build a settler just yet. Hmm. Not the slinger. Not really. Build the monument for now. Luckily when you change your production to something else, the amount of production you put into the the thing, the the, the unit uh, is saved. So when you continue building that later, you just have the uh, have the same amount of uh, hammers left. So you can skip the turn. It's not it's not an ideal start we are we are having here. And you can start moving towards that salt. Hopefully, you can just take that camp. Hopefully, no barbarian will spawn in the camp. Okay. So plus 40 gold. It's not that much, but it's something. Alright, you can wait the turn and I think it's time for you to wake up and get going. Swap positions. Alright, next turn. We'll settle on the coast. I think we'll settle here. Yeah, we have the copper close by, we have the, the fish. You have the citrus. I, I, I think that's a nice, a nice spot. Still need to need to uh, scout to the to the east. 
So let's pull the scout from here and go to the east. It might be a suitable city location. Let's wait one turn until we get mining. And then we can mine the salt. When you find yourself in a hole. Yes. So the improvement. Great. Knowledge of the wheel. Without craftsmanship. That's advanced considerably. Production towards builders. I think I think I like my policies for now. What do we want to research next? Let's go for archery. Let's finish finish archery. And get an archer going as a protection against barbarians because the, these barbarians are really brutal if you let them get out of control. Production towards wonders or uh, production towards cavalry units. I think we want state workforce so we can start political philosophy as soon as possible so we can get a better government. Alright, so we're gonna quickly settle the city on the sea and then we're gonna end the episode because we are already over the time limit, limit actually. So we're gonna quickly do a few more turns. One more turn. It's always one more turn, right? With these games. May the forces of evil become... Con yes, we completed archery. Alright, so what the settler to set up the city here. Alright, so we settled on the coast, which means we uh, boosted sailing. Sailing is, I think, quite nice. What else do we have? Yes, we have fish. What else do we have? It's a good tile to work. I think the forest is a, is perfectly fine. Alright, uh, between episodes we'll figure out what uh, what research to take and uh, what to build in the Banza Mambata. And uh, yes, we'll continue soon. Alright, I hope you like this, uh, this episode. I hope you like that we're playing uh, another game than Minecraft. I really like this game. I hope you do as well. Um, Yes, so if you like this, uh, leave a like. If you have anything uh, to say on my bad play, uh, please leave a comment. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. All right, see you soon. Bye.